So I'm going to show you how to change the diaphragm on a Dimensions EXL with LM. So first of all, you want to go to your um, system counter screen and you see here that we went a little over. Usually you can go anywhere from 300 to about 500 over. You really don't want to go any more than 500 over the 12,000 because you have a chance of running into the black tape. So first of all, before I change the diaphragm, I went ahead and changed the cuvette because usually they both go out together. So um, you see here, I just cut the tape about halfway down and then re-taped the red tape from the new um, cuvette cartridge. So, once you're going to change the diaphragm, you will hit diaphragm change, which is F2, and then it says after changing the cuvette diaphragm, press any key to continue, and that will reset the counters to zero. So, once you press that button, it unlocks this guy right here. So, first you want to pull this up. Then you want to pull this out. See that clicks, you can pull that out, and then you want to unscrew this, and just set this back, back there. So now you're free to pull out this, and take the cuvette off. So you can see this is what punctures it, and makes your cuvette, so. So just go ahead and pull that off, and you can see where it kind of wears at the top here, and sometimes it'll even poke a hole through it. But this one's okay. So, you wanna place it with the numbers facing in the right direction, this towards the front and this over the back. That little hole has to fit around a little knob. Now you can't really see it. So, you want to push that button in, get that over the top part, and then you want to make sure you push it down snug so that there's none above this metal rim. So keep pushing it down and make sure that's fit around that bottom circle. Otherwise you'll get a hissing noise. Okay. So then you'll know that's in place if you push it in and then it doesn't wiggle any. You'll put this back. Those two will line up and then you screw this knob back on. And then don't forget it won't close all the way if this isn't put back down. That's like the barcode reader for the flexes that go on. So you just press any key and then it says, do you want to store the new information? So you hit Y or you can click on yes. So that's the diaphragm change. Now I already changed the cuvette. So I will go down to and you press enter to replace and then F1 to store changes. Do you want to save the new information? Yes. Now they're both at zero. Now we can go down to F3 film load. So it says cut the old film and remove the cartridge, which I already did, tape the new film to the old film, which I did, and press F1 to start the film loading. So, an F1 film load. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.